When Mohammed El Baradai returned to Egypt in February, he was greeted at the airport by hundreds of supporters, some with placards reading El Baradai for President. Many respect his open criticism of the Mubarak government, first from abroad, now at home. He doesn't have much time on his hands. One day he visits an orphanage he supports, more birthday songs, the usual throng of press. A few days later, he goes to the Mediterranean city of Alexandria to pay his respects to the family of Khalid Said, a young Egyptian businessman who, eyewitnesses say, police beat to death in the street. The Egyptian police say he died from asphyxiation after swallowing a bag of drugs. Afterwards, El Baradai joins a protest organized to mourn the victims of torture in Egypt. For years, human rights groups have said the Egyptian government uses torture systematically. I think the message is clear that this should be the last time when we witness torture practices in Egypt. This is, this is middle, middle Ages practices. This is Egyptian street politics at its most basic. Chants and slogans, angry words for the police. On this day, the event went off peacefully, but other times they end in beatings and arrests. For a career diplomat, this rough and tumble environment seems almost alien. Hundreds of thousands of Egyptians have joined Facebook groups supporting El Baradai's candidacy in presidential elections, scheduled for the autumn of 2011. But will he run? I think if all things are equal and if people, if I see I have a chance to run, you know, I would not let people down. And I would do that basically to shift Egypt into a democracy, a new constitution, a free and fair election. And probably then I say, I have done my, my bit, you can, you, can, you can go forward. But yes, I mean, I don't exclude that, provided that all the conditions, without single exception, are met. I'm not, I'm not ready to play, a, you know, a, a, you know as, as, I'm not ready to give the regime a, the only thing they, they, look, they lack, which is legitimacy. I mean, they would love that I would run. They would love that I would run and get 30 percent, 40 percent, and and shake my hand and say, well, good hard luck, you know, next time. You know, that's not what I'm going to do. You know, and I, I would only do it when there's absolutely level playing field. And if people want me to do it, of course I would do it. Until now, the Mubarak regime has shown no inclination to meet his conditions. With Mubarak's health in doubt, it's not clear who will run for the presidency next year. I've noticed that in your meetings with people, people are piling a mountain of expectations on you. You should go here, you should go there, you should speak to this person and that person, these people. Do you feel that people have sort of loaded too much on you too quickly? A hundred times. I mean, I, 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 all, most of my time I'm spending, Ben, is telling them, I cannot do this. You know, I can only, you know, I can only lead if I have an army behind me, if I have the people behind me. I am not able to do much as except just give you ideas you know but as i said it's just the, the level of frustration the level of fear the less level of desperation created this illusion that one person can deliver and this is all this is really the major problem i'm facing here it just get them to understand you have to organize in 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 grass as in grassroots fashion you know you have to learn from you know what happened in latin america what happened in, in eastern europe Take charge of your own life. I mean, that is really the basic message I'm sending to people. Take charge of your own life. And I'm be, I've become more and more uh, sharp in, in telling them, don't think I'll be able to change for you unless you are working with me. Egypt is, as you of course know better than anybody, Egypt's a complicated you know country. <laughs> well, if 80 million people, poor, rich, what kind of leader is needed 
to run such a difficult country. I mean, some people would say you need somebody who's strong, who's willing to be tough. I think you know, that's precisely what I want to change, you know, uh, that, you know, to change a system from basi uh, based on a pharaoh to a system based on institutions, you know, and uh, people are not are not comfortable with that language. I mean, they want to look at me, as I said, as, as a new pharaoh, but, but that's not what I'm, what I'm about. Egypt is a country where autocracy is as old as the pyramids. The change so many Egyptians dream of may take more than the best efforts and the best intentions of just one man.